<sighs> Guys, here's a video that nobody wants to make. I don't even know how to do this. We're just gonna shoot from the hip and hopefully this doesn't get too crazy. So, I've heard from multiple people about um, dudes that are professional, supposedly, um, using and abusing uh, their female contacts. And I've heard of this in the past. You know, I've, I've had many female coworkers in the past and the fact of the matter is, is I've heard of it, I've never seen it, and the really odd thing about this behavior is that it's something that dudes always do in private, okay? Now this, guys, the reason that this is kind of a hard video for me to make is because I see it from the side, I witness it happening, and you know, I'm, I'm pretty much against every single virtue signaling video out there, but this has gone too far, man. All right, so when when dudes approach ladies, especially at professional events like the Amy Exchange, and they constantly harass them to, for the females to hang out with them. First off, nobody's obligated to hang out with you, okay? And then if they don't call you back, or if they were busy, or if they had some other professional connection that they had to go and, and you know satisfy, whatever it is, it's none of your damn business. It's none of your business. And this is getting to be a little bit too much and I'm really starting to get pissed off because a couple of you guys just really can't get it. And then later on sending emails and stuff like, oh, why didn't you hang out with me? It doesn't matter. Nobody's obligated to hang out with you. This is absolutely ridiculous. And the fact that, you know, some of these ladies don't even wanna to go to events like the Amy Exchange you know, professional events because they know they're going to have to see that one dude or because they know they're going to have to deal with situations like this where guys are like, hey, why don't you come out and hang out with us tonight? It's going to be fun. And then if they don't, if they have any other commitment whatsoever, then the dudes write them back later and they're like, hey, why didn't you hang out with me? Or, hey, we're going out drinking tonight. Why, why can't you come with us? Nobody's obligated. And they don't owe you an answer. Okay? If they say sorry... I've got something else going on. That's it. That's the end. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. When I've got people telling me that they don't even want to go to these professional events anymore because they got to deal with some of you dicks. It really pisses me off. We work too hard to build this community for some of you guys, some of you bad characters, to just break it all down and ruin it for some of our female associates. They're our peers. If, you, if they want to go off and have fun, that's one thing. That's fine. But some of you guys just can't get the hint. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If this behavior continues from some of you, because I got people that write me from all over the place and say, oh, I wish this didn't happen or I wish that didn't happen. If this continues to happen, I'm going to start getting screenshots and I'm going to start posting it. If I have to ruin some of your careers, I will do it. I will do it. And some of you guys that are watching this, you know damn well who I'm talking about. I will ruin your career. So knock it off. Respect your associates and your peers. And nobody's obligated to give you anything. All right? Even a moment of time. Nobody's obligated. This is getting ridiculous. Fix yourselves. And for the rest of you guys, I'm sorry that you have to listen to this. I myself have never seen this behavior. Not necessarily. It's the kind of behavior that people do behind closed doors or in secret through texts or emails. They'll never do it at the lunchroom table when everybody's sitting there and be like, hey, why didn't you hang out with me last night? No, this is all, this is the sneaky stuff that's done in private. And it's enough. It's unfortunate, guys. But this behavior's gotta stop. And if it continues, like I said, I'm gonna start posting screenshots. And we'll put you guys on blast. Let's, let's fix ourselves, man. Y'all have a wonderful day.